now a very very interesting addiction which is online shopping addiction so i think uh, as a female i think if i you know do it little more even i can get addicted but uh, yes so uh, just like you know uh, in real life uh, people have a shopping addiction they are called shopaholics uh, if you have uh, you know watched a mo- hollywood movie called confessions of a shopaholic so in that they have you know typically shown how a shopaholic or a shopping addict behaves what happens is you know whenever a person actually sees something then that person has that craving or urge to you know buy that even if that person requires matlab uh, actually that person needs or doesn't need in online shopping addiction uh, it's the same thing where people just keep on you know uh, searching for something or the other they just keep on scrolling for what they don't know what they want to buy but they just want to buy something and this compulsive need of shopping can arise from some deeper mental health issues where they are actually compensating with shopping if you have seen um, the movie dear zindagi uh, you know alia bhat keeps on sh- shopping something or the other you know some or the other uh, parcel keeps on coming and then uh, her maid is you know her house help is receiving uh, that box and she just you know opens it and keeps it aside so she also doesn't know why she uh, she is shopping but then there is a compulsive need to shop because then there is something or the other which is lacking inside uh, so they are just compensating through shopping usually we have seen that in you know sh- online shopping addiction there are some deeper men- men- mental health issues obviously in other addictions also uh, there are equally mental health uh, issues which can give rise to addiction but specifically for online shopping addiction there are there is a marked uh, relation uh, between their mental health issues some trauma or some uh, you know depressive um, uh, traits which can actually lead to shopping and then how it can become harmful is you know you lose a lot of money uh, it has a lot of financial impact because other addictions might not have so so much financial impact which online shopping can do people have you know uh, gone uh bankrupt and they have actually spent so much uh, you know on their credit card that they don't know how to pay back so online uh, shopping addicts or shopping addicts can actually go to that extent where they can borrow money and then they shop okay they just collect so much what they actually don't need and uh, this is again especially uh, seen in females men are also also affected but uh, if we say uh, if we see the ratio females are affected more signs of addiction as i told you there is constant preoccupation with you know just scrolling through on different online shopping sites these people have you know all the apps related to shopping on their phones they have accounts on um, all the shopping sites and then they keep on shopping something or the other for their house for you know uh, the clothes uh, shoes or anything for that matter it's not what they shop for but it's just that that compulsive need to shop when they receive what they have shopped they might not be so happy also but it's just the kick at the time of shopping they are looking for and then again there is you know hiding and lying where you hide from family that i have bought this or i have not bought this uh, some people who are you know actually working they will uh, get it delivered to at their office addresses rather than their home so that they don't have to you know answer their family so all these things can happen in online uh, shopping addiction how parents can um, you know help or how friends can help is when you actually see a person who is uh, so much um, into online shopping you have to actually make them aware that okay this is a problem because sometimes people don't see it as a problem shopping addiction people don't know and that's why they are like okay fine she shops or he shops that doesn't mean it has a problem but then it has a financial impact and also as i told you it is a type of behavioral addiction which can start affecting uh, their lives as parents uh, when you see that you know your child um, is buying so much or constantly on uh, online shopping sites or you know asking for something or the other you have to look for red signs as i told you preoccupation then uh, you know withdrawal when they are not shopping they are not you know in their uh, greatest mood then um, also hiding and lying so all these things when you see and when you observe you uh, have to report to a professional and get help just like other behavioral addictions psychiatrist and a psychologist can help with medicines and therapy